one of the things I'm about to say is that I'm representing uh, my employer. Uh, I've been sitting for a really long time, so I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. But of course, I'm sure of this thing of ours. Uh, so I love my job. Uh, I work in technology. We all work in technology, right? And we get to do really awesome shit. We get to solve really hard problems. Um, and like, I'm really, really, really excited about like working for. Uh, so, like, this is a picture that I actually took yesterday. I was in the middle of Prospect Park. I was uh, load balancing, uh, load testing against EC2, and uh, we get to do all these awesome things. You know, like we get to continuously uh, learn about things. Uh, we get paid more than average, and all that other shit. But raise your hand if you uh, work for a company that takes BC Right? Wow. Okay. Um, so, everyone that raised their hand, uh, essentially, your company is. Not operating uh, at profit, right? So if you're taking money because you want to be able to afford all of those things, all the awesome stuff, going to conferences, going to meetups like this, hosting meetups like this, uh, all of the all the awesome things in our jobs that we actually do, uh, it costs a lot of money. So there's four possible outcomes for anyone that's actually a startup. So like you can either get profitable with cash flow positive, uh, you could do IPO, uh, you get acquired by something like Yahoo, who's been like you know, for case lately, you notice, or unfortunately you get like so like uh, this hack man is essentially all of the VCs that exist out there. They're throwing you know a little bit of money at as many companies as possible. Like they're sort of like trying to like balance everything out. And why am I mentioning the VCs? Well, like there's some really interesting things that are actually going on in our industry. And we do basically how to advise us. Like exactly how did we get here? So there's a couple of different uh, biases that I actually want to talk about. So there's fundamental uh, attribution error, which as the slide goes on, I will describe. So basically, like at the end of the day, you're not Steve Jobs, you don't Steve Jobs, but like I really want to be the person that launches this awesome startup and eventually has uh, ultimate fame and glory and blah 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 blah. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we're not really at a point uh, where we could uh, actually say something uh, about that. And there's confirmation bias where like we think that we're doing something and see results and people are giving us a little bit of cultural cool traction. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, it's not necessarily indicative of what our business is actually going to do. So uh, a little bit of hindsight bias uh, is one that basically I'm full of shit. Like, I've never launched a computer myself, but I've never done this myself. So uh, I'm just talking out of my ass right now. But I did this entire presentation. It's going to be different, but I got an idiotic email this morning, so I decided to bring it a little bit. So the whole idea is, like, I've got this idea. You give me money, and we could all uh, live happily ever after, right? So. The problem with taking money from other people is that you actually lose control of your vision, of your technology, and at the end of the day, I'm like, okay, so I'll test my stock options, but you know, they're not really going to be worth anything at the end of the day. Uh, you know, when it comes time, push comes to shove, your PC that is backing you and uh, your vision, uh, they want to get paid. But we're not really in this for the money. Uh, we want to do something uh, exciting. Remember, you know, I was working in Park yesterday, and I was doing some really fucking awesome shit out of rank code, and uh, it's really awesome. I get to travel the world, I get to see new places, we get to solve really difficult problems, problems that have not yet been solved before. We get to apply ourselves in a way that none of our contemporaries in other industries, none of our uh, people, uh, none of our uh, ancestors have actually seen. We get to do things that create value, and we want to continue to strive to create value to uh, encourage. Uh, innovation and to uh, you know, make the world a better place uh, through software, through all of our efforts. And at the end of the day, we get to learn something new. If we really apply ourselves every single motherfucking day, and that's fucking awesome. I mean, raise your hand if you've read the graph paper. Alright, do a little bit of And this is just like a little bit of a rant. Like this Stop reading fucking acronyms because it's a fucking rabbit hole. You know? <laughs> like you're not going to learn anything in there. It's it's vile. So again, <laughs> so that one of these possible outcomes, even if we hit number four, this is still better than any fucking other job that we could ever have, and we really need to be grateful. So again, I'm Tom Santoro. Uh, thank you for listening to me. Don't follow me on Twitter. It's dangerous. It's <laughs> true. Uh,